That is a motor with wax paper over it. And that is a box from Little Caesars. Hot and ready. And this is a box that it all came in. And uh, we got the all tracks motor controller. And that's a box with the lunch motor. Whatever. That's those are the boxes. And uh, right now I've taken the uh, the outline. I held this piece of cardboard in the motorcycle, and I got the outline of um, of the engine mounts. See, these are the original engine mounts here. There's a support beam here. There's the bottom one, and these are the two front ones. So I'm going to use that outline to place the motor, which I've taken wax paper, and I've lined out the bolt holes, as well as the center, which I just kind of shoved through there. It's not a very precise thing, but I really, I really have zero, zero fucking idea what the hell I'm doing. So I am going to piece this together one little bit at a time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the sheet here about as even as I can get it and then I'm going to get a piece of sheet metal with these measurements and uh, see if I can't get them to drill the holes. If I can get them to drill the holes that would be super. But maybe not. You never know. So I'm going to get a piece of aluminum in those dimensions and fit it into my motorcycle frame. Let's go for a walk. I am going to show you the motorcycle. I de-iced it, <laughs> which is short for internal combustion engine. Ice, de-iced it. The internal combustion engine did. Blah, blah, blah. Say that five times fast. I, uh, I just woke up even though it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. And, uh, ah, my bartending job is going good. I'm no longer a bus driver. Man, those those people are all stressed out. I I didn't I didn't like the, the negative work environment. Why are adults so serious? I was working with this woman who was just super grumpy all the time. And I was like, Can I get moved to another position where I don't have to deal with her? And they were like, No. And I was like, Goodbye then. The end. But hey, I got to see what it was like to be a bus driver for three months or so. And And I got a free CDL out of it. So, woo! Now I can go get a job trucking beer. <laughs> Which I hear pays a hell of a lot better. I, uh, my bar job is going fucking fantastic. And now that I'm no longer doing that bus driver gig, I've got all the time to put this puppy together. There's a... I don't know if you can see it. Let's go where the sun ain't... That's better. I think. I think it's better. This is my Kawasaki. Kawasaki. With no engine. Pulling the engine off was a pain in the butt. They put so many parts in these motorcycles. And this is the engine casing. Here are the two mounts. There's the rest of that pizza box. And there's one mount. And there's another one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the sheet metal run from here across and then down <sighs> and it'll attach Pro I don't know if it's going to go on the inside or the outside well obviously it's going to have to go on the outside because of this one so it's going to go here, here, and here and the, uh, the engine will probably sit right about here and the sprocket which I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to put this sprocket on there we'll see but first things first I've already got a sealed lead acid battery and I'm going to use that just as like a testing to see if I got all the components hooked up together and then I'm gonna buy some real batteries <laughs> here, here are all the parts the muffler the engine I'm selling uh, I'm selling all this stuff on Craigslist. I haven't gotten any offers yet. 
but uh, yeah, it's a 250 cc petroleum engine that works very well. I just just like petroleum. I've been watching uh, a few gasoline documentaries and I haven't owned a car for very long. I've probably been driving since last year and I gotta say gas is expensive and from what I from what I can tell gasoline efficiency has gone down since you know the 1970s it used to be that cars were you know, 40 50 miles per gallon and now they're like 20 and 30 so there's there's a sense of corrupt business. I know that we think of governments as being corrupt, but business can be corrupt as well. And it seems that as a nation, we are suffering for the greed of a few. And they could make these engines so much more efficient, but no research is being done to that end. So I wanna, I wanna get out of that loop. I know that we don't like to think that the few are holding us down, but in this case, it seems that they are, especially in American society, where there is really no alternative but to own a car. Our entire civilization has grown from the Industrial Revolution to now with a dependence on vehicles. You can't go to the grocery store without driving there for 10 or 15 minutes. It used to be that your own two little fits footsies could get you anywhere you wanted to go. But anywhere I walk, within walking distance of my home, there's nothing. You have to be able to drive to live. Everything has been built so far. We've become so wasteful of the space that we're given. We use it on things like median strips and intersections and parking lots. When we really should be building around the pedestrian not the automobile consumer. Our infrastructure is dependent upon a certain amount of wealth. And if you don't have that wealth, you're screwed. I heard it said once that America is a rich man's heaven and a poor man's hell. So much for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, huh? It seems that all of those things have become constricted to a greater extent than natural by our commercial development. So that's something. That's something that's going to have to change. It can't go on. It's not sustainable. I'm looking forward to the day that it does. Alright, later internets. I'll keep you updated on my motorcycle. Adios.